Hi chill fellas, my name is Paul Rudner and welcome back in that tonight in the woods. Very good game. No previews, just start. Okay, we're back and I don't really remember where are we in the story terms? I mean Hello Mom? Mm. Morning. What voice did I give her? Morning. Last night. Long night. Yep. Remember those big robots things from the, the food donkey? Mm. You were scared of those. Cried your little eyes out. Oh, it wasn't so bad. Hmm. I remember this at all. Hmm. You okay? Yeah, just been doing boring adult stuff. What kind of adult stuff? I'm adult stuff. Just like budget, bills, numbers? A lot of adulthood is number stress. That sounds bad. I'm bad at numbers. Oh, I remember. Okay, well, I'm gonna head out. Hmm. Have a nice day! Uh, mom is kinda... Kinda not, not like her today, but whatever, it's fine. Everybody can... Everybody is like that sometime. Nobody is like cheerful and happy and uh, all the things all the time. It's just not, not a human, that's a robot. Okay, Selmers, what do you have to say? Totally what's up, Selmers? You know what's good? Off the top of my head? Um... Not falling in a trash can and puking on yourself? Um, I was gonna say those fruit snacks thingies. We used to eat in grade school. Alright. Yeah, those were really good. That other thing happened to you? Nope. Wanna hear a new poem? Uh, sure. Sometimes I like fruit snacks out by the, rain, the train tracks. Decent. A juice box and headphones. I enter the juice zone. <clears throat> Jeez, there's a like all I want now. You made them sound so real. I can taste the atomic dino snacks and the buck bl blue clear squeezer. Thanks. Oh yeah, Selmers, I like you. You're a you're a chill dude with a ch chill attitude. <laughs> hey kids. Kids remind me that I got old. Older. 20's not that old. It's just old comparing to, I don't know, kids maybe. What am I talking about? Twenties not not even remotely close to being old. It's just you know just out of teenage age. I'm not twenty yet. Um, what I wanted to do today. Greg? Or... Fuck. Did I look at my computer? I don't remember that. I should have watched my previous video. Um... Well, yesterday I was with Greg. 
So I guess I'll go to bear now. Party barn. What do you have to say about this? Never been to war. Yeah, me neither. Not like the recruiter didn't try though. Hard. What? There was war? Fuck. Hey, Bill. Hey, May. How's the pickaxe? Trying to kill me. Unsuccessfully. As far at least. What's so stressful? Well, on top of everything else, we're hosting that stupid Harfest, Harfest play tomorrow. Harfest, oh yeah. Seen that advertisement right on the street. Oh wow. Yeah, I'm never offering to do this again. What are you up to tonight? Uh, nothing. I'm like super tired. Because everything about my life is exhausting. And I'm doing the work of like three employees plus store owner. Even though I'm one employee and I do not own the store. Oh weird. I thought for some reason you own this place now. Yeah, I think. But also no, I'd rather die. Literally make me a coffin. Using materials and tools from the store. <laughs> and bury me anywhere else. Jeez. That got intense. <sighs> anyway, I'm doing nothing tonight. I can do nothing too. Fine. So are we doing this? Um. But uh, yeah, I think. Let's hang out. Hi, Bea! Hi, me! Hi, Germ. Hey, dude. Germ is helping me move stuff for under the table cash. Well, I'm knocking off work early to pick up some groceries. Wanna come? Sure. I like how she smokes a cigarette, like, all the time. Ready to go. You gotta love hammers. Holy shit, there's so many kinds of nails. Alright then. He's like something out of the children's book. About whatever the hell he is. Dinner at Ben's. Oh, that sounds nice. That sounds lovely. Uh, I guess everything in that game sounds kinda lovely. Except where it, it's so hard to process i mean that soaked so heavy stuff there can be in this game this place kills the food donkey yeah kind of food you know no one who works here had anything to do with that don't get <laughs> You sure showed Ham Panther, corporate who's boss. Actually, did you know our senators, senator is one of the Ham Panther's board or something? You know, you're zero fun, right? I do know that, yes. Okay, I need to grab a few things quick. Oh, I thought we were gonna hang out. Um, we are hanging out. I'm just here to grab something for dinner for Dad and me. Don't feel like doing this, the big shop tonight. Let me pick out what you have. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you coming to dinner? Can I? Um, I guess. Are you asking? I wasn't. But now it feels weird not to. I'll pick out what we eat then. Eh. Wait, you're serious? Yeah! You know what? Go for it. I hate shopping. He like a main course and two sides. What counts as a main course? We can stop back in the meat section once and pick out whatever else. 
What about dessert? We're not children. Appetizer? We're on a budget, May. Okay, okay, okay. You hang out and I'll be back. Just make it quick and not so too horrible. Also, that's sensitive to broccoli. Oh, also, no shoplifting this time. Oh. I can't afford a few groceries, May. Also, this place has cameras. Oh, told ya. Weird like that previous one hadn't. It didn't have... It ain't... Good point. Okay. What do we have here? Tash, GB, and whatever this is. Oh, okay. Granny beans? No. Tash, Sukotash, Sukotash. No, I don't fucking know what the hell it is. Cream of chicken soup. Uh, uh green, greeny beanies. Yeah, delish. Uh, what do we have here? Wait, we are on a budget, May. Can I like go back? Like, cool sides with. Hey, oh my god. Cream greens. What a biscuits. No, we don't have creamed spinach. Nah. Okay, uh greeny beanies. You know, vegetables are good for you, May. Uh should I get bakey shaky? That goes well with me. Bakey shaky? What the hell is this? Okay, no. Yes, I, I did take it back. Okay, now we need to pick meat. Greeny beanies, bakey shaky, whatever it is. Uh... What the hell is this? Good old making cheese. Whatever it is. Taters. Mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes, beans, meat. I guess it's fine. That could be a lot. Nice rice. Nah, potatoes. Dose. Mm, boy, delicious. Yeah, let's let's just just three items, I guess. Check out the cooler. It's got stuff. Cool stuff. Not cool stuff. Cool stuff. I don't know how to pronounce this differently, but whatever. Um. B biscuits. We're not kids. Biscuits. Ooh la la. But it works at the deli. We could go there for the mo for the meats. Okay. Uh, so where are we going? It's like. If I know where to go, I guess to the right. Dilly! Hello. Hoi there, ladies! Hey, Dad. Hey, Bill. Long time no see. How are you, Mr. Borowski? Can't complain. Just me and the mates. Meet friends. Perhaps to stay friendly with your prime cuts and best fishes? <laughs> True. Still weird seeing you here. Beats the alternatives. I think I saw my old music teacher when we came in. Oh yeah, that was Mr. Armistead. Looks like it's his job to say hello to people. Yep, call the greeter. 
I know I recognize him from somewhere. Alternatives? Not working. Oh. So what are you lovely ladies doing here? Just grabbing something from dinner for dinner. As you're dead. All right. What can I get you? F get for you, ladies. Uh, but. With big beans and potatoes, chicken with potatoes. It's, uh, chicken with potatoes are nice, but all of that goes well with uh, pork, I guess, or beef. Ground beef. Classic. Huh? Do I want to pull the trigger on these meats? Uh, yeah? Bear, you should come for my dinner sometime. At the Ham Panther? At home, May. Eh? I'll grill us up something nice. I can chop up just about anything back here. That would be nice, thank you. Yeah! Okay, let's get our meats. Coming right up! Alright, dinner decided. I'm not even looking at what you got. Oh, that better look. Because I have no fucking idea what I got. Seriously, like... Almost totally. It is how straight up tired I am. Oh, okay. It's gonna be great. Alright, let's keep moving. Alright, ladies. Let's see what you all got. What all you got. Hmm, hmm, yes, okay. Well, that's interesting. Interesting? Maybe I'm just behind the times. Good luck. All right, thanks, Mr. Borowski. Tell your dad I said hello. See you later, dad. Night, ladies. I gave him a kind of weird voice. Ah. That was fun. That was surely fun. I hope everyone likes the dinner. Mwah. Delicious. Yep. Groceries really makes you appreciate life. Your sarcasm is invalid. Shopping is fun. Awkward. Woohoo. What? Bear's dead looks like. Dinner time! <clears throat> um. Yeah. What? Do you want me to order pizza? Nah, I got sandwich stuff. Alright. Oh, I didn't have any dinner. Yep, but we'll live, I think. <laughs> I think Breaky Shaky needs something else. I thought, like, uh, do good things? Probably make one really good thing? With Breaky Shaky, you mean the. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> my my English groceries are not that good, guys. Okay. <laughs> Big shit. Fuck. Okay. I didn't, I, maybe I didn't think that one through. Okay. <laughs> Did you like it? No, I agree. That was very terrible. So yeah, we're all paid up till the 15th next month. All right. That's rock salt sorted. Yeah, it should be fine. Is Rob still driving that big truck? As far as I know. Okay, uh, uh, I need you to sign some things. I have them on the bar. I think I might just get to them. Please do. 
We have to pay the guys in a few days. I don't need you to remind me. Remind me. I know, but... I don't, Beatrice. Whose name's on the deed? Yours, Dad. Whose name's on the checks? Yours. Ah, uh, dinner ain't gonna set well. Smelter's plane tonight. We're gonna go hang out in my room. Yeah. You girls have a nice time. Thanks for dinner, May. Yep. Uh. Okay. Oi, and I, I'm not running first once in my life in a play play time of this game. I'm not running. Surprising. Did you guys just move in? Ten months ago. Why aren't you unpacked? Pretty cool record player. As far as the record players go. That was my mom's. I don't have any records. I don't get records. My mom was into them. Ha <laughs> ha. They were retro when she was in my age. They're retro now. That's how retro works. So, I've got a question. Mm. What exactly does your dad do at the store? These days, not much. Uh, some administrative stuff. He hires and he hires the repair guys. He sometimes goes out on jobs. That's kind of his whole area. But that's about it. Yeah, but it's still his name on everything. Yep. And meanwhile, you're running basically everything. Yep. And, and, working three every... Working there every day, too. Yep. I just think you shouldn't. Okay. I just think you're, like, selling yourself out. I'm sorry, what? Like, you're not doing anything about it, just reinforces. Is this really the road you want to go down with this? May. It's not good to advise people how to go on with their lives when you are just pretty much nothing, you get that? I mean, you don't have a job and you don't do anything, you just spend your time and she's working there. So it's not like good to advise, she's just gonna get angry and that's it. I'm not gonna listen to you. I'm saying it's not right that you just roll over and take it. Oh, I know where this discussion go in. Take it? Take it? You're doing all the work and he's getting all the credit. Oh, go to hell. Why? Rawr. What is your problem? Here's some reality for you. You know Creek? Repair guy Creek at the shop? Yeah? Yeah, you might have met him when we were kids. When I was like 15, he asked my dad if he could teach me how to drive. And my dad said no, and then told me not to be alone with him. What the? Yeah, exactly. And you know what? It still works for us. 
why haven't you fired him? I can't fire people. And even if I could, he's on the crew. And frankly, he's our best guy. Practically heads up the, part, the repair team. Since my dad's barely doing anything. And Creek's got a family. And he needs the work. That's disgusting. It's not your responsibility to... I know. Don't you think I know that? I'm just saying if you keep letting these dudes off the hook... Off the hook? Like you're stronger than this bear. You're like badass and shit. You... Badass? My mom dying was not very badass. Me sitting in this room right now is not very badass. Okay, sorry, I... You're such a shithead, you know that? What the hell? Ugh, what the hell? A lot of time folks can't just choose to do. Whatever it is, you de decree to be the right thing. A lot of times people do the things they do because they can't do anything else. You all have you always have a choice and you can always choose. I know I know she would probably tell if you are, if I say you always have a choice, she would say no you are not. You do not always have a choice. And if I'll say you can always choose, she would say, "Well, not with my dad." Boo hoo. That's just <laughs> But I guess you can always choose because you always have a choice that's not true. Sometimes you need to do stuff just because you need to do it. Sometimes the situation is just this just makes you do the do the choice you can always choose yes no it's the case that if life's ch life chooses for you you do not have a choice but if someone else but someone else cannot choose for you okay i just messed uh, my my head up <laughs> just was saying this you can always choose Choose what? Honestly, tell me. What is my choice here? Tell your dad you're not gonna take this. Yes, it's probably that one. You can't just leave. That would be. That's just childish. Tell your dad you're not gonna take this. That's right. Tell him what? What is your magic solution that I need to do? I'm seriously going to punch your goddamn lights out. You come in here and start telling me how I'm screwing things up? You want me to come in and here and say, Oh yeah, just ditch your dad. Who's both getting old and can barely get off the couch half the time. You want to come in here and say, Oh yeah, just start this big drama and make your life way more s stressful. That is not what I'm saying. Oh, what are you saying then? Uh, I don't know anymore. Like Greg is probably off doing God knows what wacky shit right now. I'm here making dinner and playing payroll and doing payroll you know like nothing about my life you just know what I should do and you're the last person I'd ask for advice okay okay I'm sorry yeah you're sorry everyone's sorry but you don't get it you're just like the other night but all the time running around messing with people and taking whatever you want while the whole mall is falling apart around you. I thought you had a good time. I should go. You should go. 
Yeah. Told you, some heavy shit. Beef. Bad beef. Yeah. Okay, that was... Well, May, it's not me who chooses the bad thing, okay? I don't have choices here. <laughs> Weirdly enough, that what was I what I was talking about. Oof. What's up? Long day? Yeah, same here. How ah, socializing. Surprisingly tiring sometimes. Yeah, that's why I don't do much of it. Pleasant surprise seeing you at work tonight. Yeah, I can't believe I hadn't visited yet. Well, you haven't been back long. And you're not usually lurking at the Pam Panther. Supposed to say I'm not. Well, it was nice seeing you anyway. Lurk, lurk. Okay, can you move your goddamn boxes, Dad? Any idea what was up with Mom today? Oh, she's just stressed. That's vague. Haha, <laughs> well, I hate to be the one to break it to you. But you spend a lot of adulthood being vaguely stressed. Oh dang. I thought the stress would at least get more specific. Oh no, you'll have that too. Hmm. Cheer up, kiddo. It's only life. Gee, thanks, Bob. Uh talk some more. So how about those crawl space boxes? Yeah, okay, I'll move them. TV time? Yeah, for a little bit. Some more of these guys. And we back! Great crowd in here tonight. I'd never leave for too long, folks. Say, Garbo. Yeah, my loy. Crowds like this remind me of our early days. I disagree. None of them were angry and drunk. Most of them, anyway. No, I mean those old nights. Those good nights. Just the heat of the stage light and the thrill of wingling it. And the gentle thump of an empty beer bottle thrown at your head. These days were the pretty cushy. You think we gotten soft? You sure are around the midst and mid midsection. That's a warper. Malloy, it's company policy to never body shame. Oh, I never worry about that, Garbo. Why is that, Malloy? I'm what you call body shameless. <laughs> okay, that was pretty good. Coming up next, Garbo and I go to counseling. <sighs> Cheesy jokes. Thanks, Dad. Always appreciate it. Can you move your goddamn fucking boxes? What's here anyway? I mean, seriously, what is here anyway? Why am I trying so much to tell Dad to move them? Uh, what do I have in mail? Hey, bear. Hey, Bear, you there? Okay, it's just me there. Fuck it. Yep. I don't really know how I screwed that up, but I'm sorry. It's fine. Going to sleep. See you later. Okay. Uh, hi, Greg. Hey, kid! Hey, yo! What chopter? Nothing. Kinda bummed tonight. Oh, why? No reason, just happens. 
Must be going around. I just got into a fight with Bear. Oh no! About what? I don't even know. I think I'm just an asshole. You and me both. The asshole twins. We can get matching jackets with that on the back. War City jackets. With giant asshole patches on the sleeves. <laughs> Alright, dude. I'm cashing out for the day. See ya, duder. Okay, tomorrow I will hang out with Greg. It will be more fun, I guess. Because, yeah, I, I was kind of lame and stupid fights all over. Okay, that's it for today's episode of Night in the Woods. I'll be back at this game. And yeah, as you may notice, the episodes are a little bigger now. Because I'll... As much as I want to play this game a lot, I want... I, I don't really want to have uh, 40 episodes of it. So yeah, I'll probably make bigger ones from now on and uh, stop playing it in, in some time I mean y you, you gotta stop w one day <laughs> if, I even if I won't like make it through the, the, the whole game so yeah as much as I love it there's a lot of exper other experiences out there and other games what I want to which which I want play to play on the channel. So yeah, that's the end of that and I will be waiting for you in the next video. See ya.